Hi everybody and welcome back. Uh, it was a busy week last week getting the uh, the furling done and all the other jobs. And this morning I've got my uh, my my jack stays back. I had them shortened and restitched, so I'm going to fit them today. Uh, I set my departure date for the 27th of August, which is very exciting. I can't wait for that. So I have a lot to do before then, fundraising, trying to get sponsorship, packing up with food, spending as much time with family as possible. So I uh, hope you like this week's video. So as I said a while ago, I have these made up and uh, restitched and they're well done, they're well made. Uh, so they're gonna be shorter and not as much slack. I'll show you in a minute. So that's the new Jack Stays shackled on center line up to the mast and down the other side the same so when i'm clipped on the reason i said before i like them center line so if i'm clipped on here i'd fall i could hurt myself but i won't go overboard which you don't want it's really wintry here today and windy it's quite windy so i'm waiting uh, for the wind to ease off so i can bring the boat over and get the, the cherry picker to put up my new force which is made, as you saw last week. It's just waiting to be put on. Last big job. I'm in the boat yard. This is the new furling system we made up last Friday. And just waiting to hang it, the, the Pro Furl 420. I can't wait now to get that on. Tomorrow morning, hopefully. <laughs> nice to be back in the boat yard. It's very quiet now, obviously. All the boats are launched for, uh, for the summer. Most of them, anyway. Please give Grandad a big wah! <laughs> Where's Ava? <laughs> and Rachel? <laughs> the, cap the captain? <laughs> What's under the table? Have a look under the table. I'm so cute. <laughs> so right beside the marina by pure coincidence today is the circus <laughs> so we're all going to the circus lovely family day So after a lovely evening and day with family, I'm moving uh, Waxwing back over to the boat yard um, to get the uh, cherry picker hopefully in the morning. In now, all set for the morning and get that last job finished finally. And I'll be happy out there. Engine running beautifully. Beautiful evening here in Kilrush. That's the circus we were at today. Oh, it was fantastic. So lovely to be with family and grandchildren, loved ones. On the way up in the cherry picker, which is lovely. Yeah. <laughs> so much easier than climbing the mast and trying to bring tools and not drop them and uh it's a great facility to have i love the view up here as well it's brilliant it's also a much easier way to inspect everything and uh, check all the other fittings as well as i'm up here and everything looked good which was great Dressing that and cleaning it a bit. I had to uh, just take it back ever so slightly for the toggle to fit. So we're back up the mast again uh, to 
put the pin in the right way. I had put it the wrong way around. I'll show you in a minute on the video. So the split pin should have been on the inside and I put it the wrong way around. So here it is uh, after we took it off again and put it on on the inside. Perfect. So I can lift the whole drum up off the uh, the bottle screw and tension the rig and then drop all that back down. I have one of the halyards tied onto the drum so I can I can just tension it and, and release it up and down as I need. So I've been at this all day <laughs> and I'm happy with it, I must say. Everything looking good. I just have to wait for the wind to ease off now and uh, to put the sail on. After I tighten all the shackles, I use uh, seizing wire on them. Just twist them and then, and then snip them off so that they don't open. New force they finished. <laughs> Hallelujah. That was good. All day at that now. But happy, very happy with how everything fits. So everything taking shape. I did my laundry today as well. The visitors coming this evening. Uh, nice day to hang them out and dry them. I was at the furler again this morning just playing with it. Uh, so very happy with that now. Looks nice, doesn't it? And the next thing I have to do is uh, test out my new dinghy. I haven't gone for a spin on that yet. Oyster 54, I think. 56. Beautiful boat. Wow! <laughs> Flyer! Does it get to these places fast enough? <laughs> That's fun. Oh god, I'm gonna have fun with this. And it's gonna be so handy for uh, going ashore, getting groceries, doing everything. Uh, my main taxi. I like this boat too, she's a steel. I think a replica of, of Slocum Spray, she's called Respray. Nice boat. Interesting. Different, didn't you? My brother John's Apache, Carter, the red one. And home sweet home. So I'm back up the mast again. I had to move this up, I had it too low. That's the halyard to stop the halyard drop. So, uh, and I have a hat on so I don't get stuck in my <laughs> wind instrument. 
and I'm just checking all the rig as I'm as I'm up here. So that's my friend Simon below, he's helping me. Uh, just taking the rope as I climb. That's that spray I had been telling you about. And my brother John's Carter 34. Beautiful view of the marina. That's the lock gates outside. And then the Shannon Estuary and the Atlantic Ocean itself which I'll be heading out on the 27th of this month. So it's been a good week, a busy week. And uh, I want to thank everyone for um, tuning in and watching. Uh, the content will get better as I head to sea, obviously. Uh, a big thank you also to the people who joined Patreon. Uh, that really helps, it really, really does. So thanks to everybody. Wishing everyone a safe and great weekend. And uh, th thanks for watching. Waxwing out.